All right, maybe you saw it right here on Fox 13 a few weeks ago. Here she is pleading with Hillsborough County School Board of Commissioners, Board of Commissioners, Board of Commissioners, Board of Commissioners, to pass an ordinance banning bear hunting. Here she is. Remember this? That's Megan Sorbo. She travels the state trying to convince politicians to save Florida's wildlife and wild places. And, oh yeah, as you can probably tell, she's kind of young. She's yeah, 10 years old. 10 years old, but do not let her age fool you at all. Fox 13, Cynthia Smoot is here now to tell us that she knows what she's talking about, doesn't she, Cynthia? She absolutely does, Kelly. If you talk conservation with Megan Sorbo, you better get your facts and figures straight because this young lady is all business when it comes to saving wildlife. because I love the guides so much. She lives in the shadow of Disney World, a stone's throw from the entrance. But after a family trip to the Everglades when she was seven, Megan Sorbo traded Aladdin for alligators. I see fireworks at night from my room, but I, but I still prefer the Everglades. It's, it's my heart and soul. Homeschooled by her mom, Megan became immersed in the plight of the Florida panther. I'm afraid that we're met, that the FWC is going to delist them. And for all you FWC officials watching, I don't mean any disrespect. Hello, Megan. Welcome. That's where she made her public speaking debut at a Florida Fish and Wildlife Commission meeting. Her biggest fear was she thought she had no business speaking up to the child. Mom Tina says Megan was pretty scared that first time, stepping up on her little pink stool to see over the podium, holding her favorite stuffed animal, Panthera. Thank you for the opportunity to speak. You may not take me seriously since I am only nine years old and I feel so nervous about coming here to speak. Not but by the time she finished, this is my future Florida and my generation's Florida. That is in question. And I Megan was a hit. You are charged with protecting. That animal's needs must come first, not ours as humans. Wow, Megan, that's awesome. If she's smart enough to learn about these issues, if she's old enough to learn about them, she's old enough to have her opinion and speak out about it. I am here to speak on behalf of the Florida Black Bears. And that's what she's doing, speaking out for the animals and places she loves. These are my signs that I made for a protest at Broward County saying that we don't want fracking. Turning her attention now to Florida Bears, trying to stop the next hunt. She dictates, mom types, because she's faster. I come before you as a concerned Floridian and an Orange County resident. And a very articulate 10 year old who's hoping to keep what's left of wild Florida wild. So Megan and her mom, her mom is her chauffeur, are going around the state to various boards of commissioners asking that they pass an ordinance banning bear hunting in their counties. She's having some luck too. Seminole County and Fort Myers, they just passed resolutions. And while it's largely symbolic, she's hoping it'll send a message to the Fish and Wildlife Commission. She's quite something at the age of 10. Back to you guys. It certainly is. She is indeed. Can she run for governor? Yeah, really. <laughs> Maybe someday. I know. Sure. All right. Uh, Tampa family was happy to get their deck. 